All right, so it's been a little over a week since Samsung has announced a new flagship phone, the S10, and that puts its predecessor, the whole S9 lineup in the shadows. But that doesn't mean the S9 won't be available for sale when the S10 comes out. You can still get it on their website for 620 bucks. Yeah, well, fam, what's going on? I'm Zach Jack here. So with the S10 right around the corner, excluding the 10e, some of you guys may be thinking, man, do I really need to pay 900 to 1,000 bucks for a premium flagship device? And some of you guys may be even focusing on last year's S9, S9 Plus, or even the S8 because that may be enough for you, which is totally fine. But if you're considering the Galaxy S9, this is the perfect video for you to watch because we are revisiting the S9 Plus a year after its launch date. And the Plus was my daily driver, so we're more focusing on the Plus, not the regular size phone. And I have a couple of things to say. It ain't good, and I didn't really like it that much. Now, I'm not gonna get into full details and specs about this phone. You can find my full review in the link below. When I first got this phone, everything seemed to be great. It performed well, it felt fantastic. Everything about the S9 Plus just felt so premium. But just about three months of using this phone, it all seemed to go downhill for me. And I wanna start off with the display. The 6.2 inch display itself was just gorgeous. You can't mess and complain with the quality of what you're seeing. The color accuracy was nice, sharpness was great, and black levels were very deep, making this my favorite AMOLED display at this time. But my major complaint was, the screen just got too hot, and this especially happened when I was watching videos. I mean, just about five minutes in, I would start noticing the heat off the screen, and then about 15 minutes in, it just got way too hot. And my brightness wouldn't even be that high. I always set it midway to save my battery power. And speaking of battery power, it really sucked on this phone. Now, before I upgraded to S9 Plus, I had the S8 Plus, and battery was phenomenal on that phone. I don't know what happened here but I would come home after a whole long day with about 30% in the beginning, which was more than enough. But that 30% changed to 20% and then to 15%, and then it just doesn't last me the whole day anymore. I always have to carry my charger now, and within 10%, the phone just dies, and that's only about a little more than half of my day of usage. And the screen shows over 10 hours of estimated time and battery life with 100%, that's straight BS, and even with battery saver on, nothing made a difference. The speakers on this phone were great. Didn't have much of an issue with it. They're not the best sounding speakers on the phone, but it did the job. The camera on the S9 Plus was phenomenal, especially Samsung introducing the first dual aperture lens on its smartphone. And the picture came out excellent. Vivid colors, high dynamic range was awesome. And with that dual aperture, low light photos were very clear nice and detailed, and this is what makes the S9 Plus significantly more different from the S8 line and the smaller S9 because the base model did not have a dual aperture lens. So those were two great things about this phone, but back to what I hated, and this is the last one on the list, this phone lagged like crazy. Now the S9 Plus features six gigabytes of RAM and it packed its Snapdragon 845 processor. So on paper, this was supposed to perform well, but it didn't, not for me at least. It always lagged launching apps, switching between apps, and especially using Google Maps for navigation. Now, this wasn't always like this. When I first got the phone, it barely lagged, and everything seemed so smooth and super fast, but eventually that all changed. I had to restart this phone so many times, and I can't even exaggerate that information, but after a year with Samsung's bloated touchways interface, I finally got their new One UI. And this didn't totally fix my issue with the lag and stuttering, but I did notice a difference in time with launching and switching between apps. But with One UI, the lag still happens sometimes, the battery is still bad, and the screen is still hot. So some of you guys may be thinking, Shakib, you might have had a defected item, and I thought so too. So I contacted Samsung, and they sent me a replacement, but it was refurbished. It worked well in the beginning, but after a month later, all the issues occurred again. Now, I don't know about you guys, your experience may be different. Now, I have friends who have both the S9 and the S9 Plus. My friends who have the S9, they never had an issue with it. Battery was good, screen was good, performance was great, no issues. My friends who had the S9 Plus, they had similar issues like I did, but not as bad as mine. But again, like I said, your experience may be different. Listen, I'm not hating on Samsung. I actually love their products, but not their prices. And I support the Galaxy, just like the other Android devices from Google, Huawei, LG, and etc. But for me to experience this twice, me buying my own product, and for them to send me a replacement, and it still didn't work out, 
kind of made me regret buying the S9 Plus. Now, before the S9 Plus, I had the S8 Plus, and my experience with that phone was phenomenal. I mean, they're basically the same specs, the same type of phone. The only difference was, was the camera. But listen, even though the S8 was older, it still had a great camera. If you're not gonna get the S10 that's coming out, you don't care about being bougie or having the latest phone that are out right now, get the S8 Plus, that's much cheaper, and who cares if it's two generations old? What's more important is your money, and you won't really see changes in these phones anymore. It's not more, it's not much more significantly different. And if you wanna try the S9, that's okay. You can still get it from their website, it's still cheaper. If you don't like it, you can always return it. So for me, the S8 rocked, the S9 stinked, and I'm hoping the S10 rocks as well. It's a little pattern going on. I'm gonna have my review up for the S10 soon, so stay tuned. So that's all we have for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and finesse on that subscribe button. And let's end it off with fun fact number 54. The top selling phone for Samsung is not the Galaxy, it's the E1100. Google it and check it out for yourself. Thanks for watching, I'm Zashak. Stay tech strong, stay humble, and deuces.